This video is going to show you how to add your spot channel to any PNG image before you put it onto your REN software. So let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. All right, so you can see my Photoshop. First, you want to go over to open immediately. You're going to select the image that you want. So give me one second while I look for the one that I need. It can pretty much be any image that you want. Just make sure that it is in PNG format. Um, so let me see, because I know that REN software works differently from CadLink as opposed to CadLink. Obviously, you can just upload your PNG image and print ready to go. But I think for REN, it does require a little bit of extra steps. So Look for your PNG image that you want. And once you have it, you just want to click open and it should add it to a new canvas. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click. Let's see. I want to click one that I have not already used. So I'm going to uncheck that. OK, we're going to select this one here. Once you go ahead and open it up, you're going to immediately go over to where it says image. Then from image, you're going to want to click where it says trim. Trim is going to end up trimming all of this negative space around your design because obviously whenever you're resizing any image, you don't want to have this negative space around it. So you're going to go to trim and this little pop-up will come up. It's going to say based on transparent pixels and then you can just hit OK. You see it automatically trims it right around the edges perfectly. So once you do that, then you want to go back up to image. You want to go to mode and you want to make sure instead of being on RGB, that's the color mode for any type of viewing images on a screen. You want to make sure you're under CMYK because that's what um, this will come up for whenever you're wanting to obviously have CMYK colors for your printer, if your printer works in CMYK. Obviously, I'm assuming that if your printer works in RGB, then you leave it. So then you don't want to hit don't show this again. You would just want to click OK. So once you have already done the trim and then you've done the CMYK, you're going to go to layers here and then you're going to click with your left hand you're going to select where it says control and you're going to click this image right here. So I'm holding down control with one hand with the other one. I'm going to click right there and you see that it gives you kind of like a highlighted um, space around the actual PNG contoured image. That's what you want. So again, control and then select this little image here on layer one. Then over the highlighted space, you're going to go to select and then you're going to go to modify and then you're gonna do contract. You're gonna get this pop-up and it just says contract by one pixels and then hit okay. Next, you're gonna go over to channels, which is right here over on your right-hand side. These three little lines right here, again, on your right-hand side, you're gonna click that and you're not gonna do new channel. You're actually gonna click on new spot channel. It's automatically should turn it red you can leave it at that if you want. You can rename it, but I'm just going to leave it. And then you're going to make sure that your solidity, um, it, you want to leave it at 100. Okay. And then you're just going to hit OK. From here, you've already added your spot color, as you can see at the very bottom. So now you're just going to go to File and then hit Save As. And this is where you want to probably have a separate folder for all of your TIFF files. So in my case, I have a folder here under my external drive and I have a little spot where it says DTF printer files and things. Um, you can see I already have one under TIFF. I left the name as is. I'm just going to, at the end, make sure I have it under TIFF and then just hit save. Make sure all of this is the same and then hit OK. You're going to get this. Make sure that for here, you just leave where it says save transparency and then OK, and then OK. Once you're done with that, 
he should have the file. We can then disregard this. We're going to open up our Rin software. Okay, here it is. To zoom in, you're going to do control. And then if you have a mouse, just scroll in, should zoom in for you. You can see this one is already ready to go. It has a spot color channel on the back. I'm just going to scroll down, go to import, and then go down to where I have the external drive, that specific folder. And then here it goes, open. You can leave it original size, but if you want it sized automatically to, for example, 11 inches, you can just do that and then hit OK. It's going to process it and it's already ready to go. You can see it's 11 inches wide by 9.88. If you do want to change the size of the height, then you can unlock it and you can have it as an even 11 by 11. But as you can see, it does distort the image. So I'm going to do undo and just leave it how we had it and then make sure it's locked back up. You probably do want to leave some space in between each one so that you can make sure it's printing. And also I'm just going to select both, bring them down. If you want to add that color strip at the top of your design, of sorry, at the top of your canvas, I'm going to do import. And I'm going to go to the one that says DTF files and things. I'm going to select this one that has the white and the black. I'm going to do custom width as probably 12. Custom height as 0 0.50. Okay. Oh, I guess this one got, we need to unlock this. I wanted it kind of thin, so there we go. Just want to have it here at the beginning of my print so I can make sure that my colors are going to look good before I actually start printing anything else. I want to make sure that the colors on this looks good. So there's that little bar at the top, your image number one, and then image number two. So um, this is my artboard, my canvas. If you want to change the layout or see it with the white background, you can have it like that. Um, if you want the transparent canvas not to be transparent, you want it to be a white. Instead of transparent, you could do that as well. I like to keep mine under a transparent canvas just so I can see everything. So it's there. It's ready to go. And yeah, you can add all your images. And then once you're ready to print, this is um your number one or the first one that you have. You go to task manager. Well, of course, you have to go here and hit print first. But you would also go to task manager and then you'll see the pending process where it's actually printing. These are your previous projects, so you can disregard those. And you can click on each one. And then um, you could actually just go in and delete the job by hitting the X. So here you go. Delete. There you go, delete, and then so on. So anything that you have open here are your new ones. So there you have it. And then again, your sizing is there. Just make sure you lock it back up before you actually um, start to print just so the image doesn't move or anything on you. I hope this helps.